Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a domain for your Minecraft server or website. And domain basically uh, translates the IP of your server or website into words and it just makes it a little bit more professional and stand out. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So to get started, you want to come to some sort of website that registers your domain. So uh, I'm going to be using name.com for this video, and you can also check out Namecheap as well as GoDaddy. Those are the three that I recommend that you can register your domains. Uh, so as I said, name.com is the one I'm going to be using for this video. And if you check out the link down in the description, you can get $5 off in promotional credit. Basically $5 off when you buy your domain with name.com. So that link is down in the description. Once you made your account, it will apply the credits uh, at the checkout counter. So uh, we can go ahead and look at the domains that we want for our website or for our Minecraft server. So you can go ahead and enter a domain. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to call this uh, strikermcyt. Alright, go ahead and search the domain that you want. Uh, so it will tell you if the domain is available. As you see, here is the .com. It gives you a whole bunch of other different types of uh, domains that you could potentially use. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this uh, over to the rest of these and then show you uh, some of the price differences and some of the add-ons. Uh, so for example, this one, uh, it is $11.99. Uh, typically, it is uh, almost $18, which is pretty pretty expensive, honestly. Uh, and then you can also buy a bundle right here. And then for name cheap, it is eight, uh, $88 a year, which is pretty nice. Honestly, that is a good price. And then right here, uh, it is $8.99. And then you can also use my promotional credits to basically get you $3 for a domain, which is pretty nice. So uh, you can go ahead and select it. So go ahead and just add it to cart, uh, whatever one that you say. And we can go to our cart right here. And then it will ask you if you want additional bundles, uh, if you have like a web uh, hosting page, or if you want uh, to secure it with SSL. Uh, there's uh, additional add-ons that you can use. But I'm going to go ahead and say no thanks. And then here at the checkout, you can select uh, the amount of time that you want. So you you can have one year or two years, whatever you want. And then this advanced security, uh, it might be free for you, it might be paid, uh, but if you want that, you can uh, use it. If not, you can go ahead and remove it, and then it will update your cart right here. And then it will ask you if you want to use promotional credit if you did sign up with my link. Uh, so once you've done that, you basically just log in and, and buy your domain. After you purchase your domain, uh, you want to go to your account, and then it should list your domains that you have bought. So I'm going to be using the soulstriker.net. That is the domain that I have uh, that is registered to me. So once you are uh, in this profile, you want to go to manage DNS records. Uh, if you're on Namecheap or GoDaddy, it should say something like advanced DNS or some sort of DNS tab, and that is where you want to go. So this is what your DNS looks like, and this should be same for any type of other uh, provider that you're using. So you have your records, your host, the Answer. This could also uh, be IP or something along those lines. But uh, anyways, we want to go to our Minecraft server and get the IP that we want. So don't include the port, just uh, have the IP of your Minecraft server. I'm using Revive Node. The link for them is down in the description. You guys can get uh, good quality servers for a dollar a gigabyte as well as using my code STRIKER for 15% off your purchases. So let's go ahead and copy this uh, IP and let's go ahead and put it right here in the answer. So the host uh, this can include anything pretty much like MC or play uh, or like a server. You can pretty much do like whatever. Uh, so for example, my uh, server is kitpvp, so we could do like kitpvp.soulstriker.net. Uh, so that is what I'm going to be using for the host. And so make sure it forwards to your IP of your Minecraft server. Go ahead and click add record and that is for the A record. If you have a dedicated IP, which is the 25565, you're pretty much done at this point uh, because that is going to be forwarded to your default uh, port. Uh, but if you don't have a dedicated IP, for example, I have the port 8107, and we need to forward that port so players can still use this uh, domain that we have. So we need to go and select SRV record. So we're going to put in that the service is underscore Minecraft. Uh, the weight is going to be 0, uh, TTL is uh, 300 or auto depending on whatever you're using, and then priority you can set that to 0 as well. And then for the protocol you need to add uh, 
TCP dot whatever your like uh, subdomain that you added right here. So this is kit PVP. So we would put it in kit PVP. If you had uh, MC up here, then you would do MC. And I will do another example after this one. Uh, so we can do TCP dot kit PVP. Make sure it matches whatever you have up here. And then the port is going to be the 8107 for the port of your Minecraft server. And then the target. So the target is going to be all of this combined. So uh, it would pretty much be the same thing as up here. So we're going to target um, basically forwarding this port to this specific target address and that is what we have up here. So make sure all of this matches, make sure your protocol matches, uh, your subdomain, make sure your target matches your A record that you have set up here. So let's go ahead and click add record and with that we should be successfully added and keep in mind uh, it might take a few minutes, it could be anywhere from like 24 hours to only like 10 minutes so it just depends on how long it takes but let's go ahead and see how long it takes us for this record to work. So it's been about uh, 10 minutes or so, so let's go ahead and enter our IP address. So we'll do kitpvp.soulstriker.net, and that should hopefully, there we go, as you see, it is now working properly. So as you see, that is the IP address. So let's go ahead and join our server real quick. And uh, we should, there we go, as you see, we are in the kitpvp server. So that is fantastic. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add a few other different things real quick. So let's go over to my other screen. So as you see, this is what we had before. So if you wanted to do like a play, you could do play right here, and then this would be the same IP address. You can add the A record, and then you would also remember to add the SRV record. So you would do underscore Minecraft, uh, then you have the weight as zero. Port is 8107, make sure to do the TCP dot, and then this would be play, because that is what we have uh, right here. So this one, we want to be the play subdomain, and then the target is just gonna be everything combined, so that would play.soulstriker.net and go ahead and add that record. Alrighty, so it's been a few more minutes, so let's go ahead and do the play.soulstriker.net and see if that comes up. And there we go, as you see, there it is. This, uh, the play, as you see, they all direct just like that. That is how you add domains with name.com to your Minecraft server. So hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.